following program may contain scenes which some viewers may find disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Ew, broccoli! And there's your homemade lemon juice too? Mom! No, I hate this sour stuff. This is disgusting! Lucy, that's no way to speak to your mother. Let me tell you a bedtime story, Lucy. Okay. The sailor's teeth wobbled in his jaw when he pushed at them gently with his tongue. A week later, his teeth fell out, and his bloody gums erupted with boils. Exhausted, he was unable to drag himself from his hammock for his watch, until the boatswain forced him to his feet by whipping him with a rope end. Once on deck, in the sunlight, the sailor saw that his old wounds and sores from years of work at sea, scars he thought had healed, had reopened. Worn out from climbing the ladder, he fell to his knees and then collapsed on the wooden deck. He was dead. What a horrible story! How did the sailor die? Well, you see, that sailor was one of the many sailors who died from scurvy dead for the lack of a daily spoonful of lemon juice. So this is just some made-up stuff to make me eat this disgusting food we have for dinner, eh? Well, scurvy actually is a sickness. It's a condition caused by a deficiency of vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid. Scurvy actually was common between the 16th and 18th centuries, in ships that were out at sea longer than perishable fruits and vegetables could be stored. Oh. Okay, then. But it can't be that serious, can it? I mean, it, it, it's, it's just vitamin C, and I, I'm sure I'm not going to die from it. Of course you can die. Vitamin C is an important antioxidant vitamin involved in the development of cells, teeth, bones, and gums, and in healing wounds. Untreated scurvy is fatal. However, it's simple to make a full recovery from scurvy, which is why scurvy-caused deaths are rare in modern industrialized countries. You simply need to resume a normal intake of vitamin C. And what would that normal intake be? Currently, the recommended dietary allowance for vitamin C is 50 to 60 milligrams per day for adults, 40 to 45 milligrams per day for children aged 1 to 14, 35 milligrams per day for infants, and 70 milligrams per day during pregnancy to supply for the fetus. The body's need for vitamin C increases when a person is under stress, smoking, or taking certain medications. Oh, wait! What if I have scurvy? Mom! Mommy, I don't want to die yet! Honey, you don't have scurvy. Besides, untreated scurvy causes death. All you need to do is start eating your citrus fruits and vegetables if you actually have scurvy. Are you sure? But how can you be sure? What if I'm secretly dying? Oh, please don't let me die! Just because I didn't eat my broccoli today, I promise I'll eat all my vegetables! Just don't let me die! Honey, you don't have any of the scurvy symptoms. Don't worry. Symptoms? Oh yeah, what are the symptoms? Symptoms of scurvy develop after three months of severe or total vitamin C deficiency. Clinical features of vitamin C deficiency appear as capillaries become increasingly fragile. You sure you want to hear all of them? Well, it's a long list. Just so you know, you won't necessarily develop all of these symptoms if you have scurvy. In adults, symptoms include fractures of the costal chondral junctions of the ribs, petechiae, which are small red or purple dots on the body, follicular hyperkeratosis, which resemble goosebumps, but they don't disappear, ocular hemorrhages in the bulbar conjunctivae, pallor, a pale appearance to the skin, anemia, anorexia, sunken eyes, tiredness, weakness, aches and pains, insomnia, the inability to sleep, and poor wound healing. There are also psychological disturbances, including irritability, depression, hysteria, and hypochondriasis, which is severe anxiety over the possibility of having disease. Bleeding symptoms include fingertip bleeding, bruises, internal bleeding, weak capillaries, opening of healed scars and separation of knitted bone fractures, and bleeding from all mucous membranes. There are also dental symptoms, which include bleeding gums and swollen purple spongy gums, often leading to tooth loss. 
Your bones are also infected, and symptoms include limb and joint pain, especially in the knees. Ew! I've had enough. This is just disgusting. Sweetie, just let me finish. In children, symptoms include a tender, painful swelling in the legs, causing the child to lie with their legs partially flexed, fever, diarrhea, and vomiting. Yes! I don't have scurvy! There sure are a lot of symptoms, though. Yup. Scurvy is often diagnosed based on the symptoms present, which I've just listed. A dietary history revealing an inadequate intake of vitamin C can also be helped to diagnose scurvy. However, tests that can be conducted include a capillary fragility test, which is performed on the patient's forearm with a pressure cuff. The patient is tested positive if more than 10 petechiae form after 5 minutes of pressure. A blood test can also be used to check the level of ascorbic acid in the body. This is so interesting. Tell me more about it. It's getting a little late, Lucy. Let's just call it a day. Arr, shiver me timbers, me pirate crew be getting poxy. Look at them scurvy dogs. They have bleeding gums and loose teeth. They be covered in bruises and their healed cuts from battle be opening again. Blind me, Captain. I'll be finding a little lassie up here on the poop deck. She be saying she knows how to cure our sicknesses, but she be looking a bit weird. A tad different, this lassie. Well, what are you waiting for? Tie the little lassie up and bring her down. This pirate talk is awful getting annoying. I wish they'd just speak normally. So, what's this sickness, you say? Well, I can observe that your crew has been experiencing reopened wounds, bleeding gums, losing teeth, and bruises. And it's scurvy. Scurvy dogs? No, silly, not pyrotoc. Sickness is called scurvy, and it's caused from the deficiency of vitamin C. I don't care what it's called. I need to know how to fix it. Otherwise, my entire crew will be dead in another week. Well, because scurvy is potentially fatal. That much is obvious. Duh, half my crew is gone. Get on with it. Because scurvy is potentially fatal, treatment begins immediately after the diagnosis to restore at an adequate vitamin C intake by daily doses of 100 to 200 milligrams of vitamin C. And by doses as high as 500 milligrams per day in severe cases, the vitamin C can either be in synthetic or natural form. It doesn't really matter. The body isn't able to recognize the difference. Symptoms usually subside in two to three days. Hemorrhages and bone disorders subside in two to three weeks. Scurvy can be treated by having an adequate diet, by eating foods rich in vitamin C, including berries, capsaicin, and parsley, and pawpaw. Vitamin C supplements can also be taken. Medications used to treat scurvy include C500GR, C-Con, Sevibid, C-Gram, Dol-C, C, Proflavanol, c Ritotolose, C-1000, Cevalon, Rindoxide, Sodium Ascorbate, and Senle. However, you should always seek professional advice before starting treatment. Why do I not understand any of this? Oh yeah! <laughs> this is all future 21st century talk for you. I forgot you guys were 17th century pirates. Whoops! Well, in that case, you should just try some home remedies like taking a spoonful of lemon or lime juice every day. Oh. Here, I'll tell you some more about scurvy. Scurvy, a state of dietary deficiency of vitamin C is an ancient disease and was the scourge of the sea explorers of the Renaissance era. Many men died from the disease until it was discovered that scurvy could be efficiently cured and prevented by consuming vitamin C through citrus fruits. Scurvy occurs very rarely in modern society, that's the 21st century to you. And as most people in industrialized countries have access to year-rounded fresh fruits and vegetables, which are rich sources of vitamin C. However, there are still several groups of people at risk. These include people with chronic malnutrition or those that eat less than two servings of vegetables and fruit per day. Alcoholics, men who live alone, children, people with particular diets, people with medical conditions that prevent the intake or absorption of vitamin C. Dialysis, patients with inflammatory bowel disease, malabsorption disorders, and underdeveloped third world countries. As cooking destroys vitamin C, vitamin C is also destroyed by the process of pasteurization. So babies fed with ordinary bottled milk sometimes suffer from scurvy if they are not provided with adequate vitamin supplements. Almost all commercially available baby formulas contain added vitamin C for this reason. However, heat and storage destroy vitamin C. 
Human breast milk contains sufficient vitamin C. If the mother has an adequate intake, it prevents scurvy on her own. Look, little girl, does it look like I care? Hey, I just wanted to share my newly introduced knowledge of scurvy. Well, frankly, I don't care. I just needed to know how to cure it, and now that I have that little tad bit of information, I see no reason in keeping you alive. Besides, you've gone a little mad with all your futuristic talk. Psh, as if time travel is possible. Tie her up and make her walk the plank. After all my hard work, this is the thanks I get? Psh, some dream. Fine, I'll gladly walk your stupid plank. I never want to have scurvy.